Uh, the NBA did make a major announcement this uh, past Saturday, and that was the introduction of the in-season tournament, man. So, uh, Brian, let's, um, let's run the video and, and give the fans a breakdown. NBA held a big, big press conference and marketing event last night here in Las Vegas to break down the format and, and everything that, uh, that the in-season tournament entails. So let's run the video and react to it. All right, everybody, the NBA first ever in-season tournament is now official. But how does it work? Like this. First up is group play. All 30 teams will be split into six groups, three from the East, three from the West, with a random draw based on last year's regular season records. Each team in a group plays each other one time, a total of four games, two at home, two on the road. One, two, three, two. Now those games happen Tuesdays and Fridays in November, so set your calendar. Basically, these regular season NBA games also count as tournament games. Now. In each group, the team with the best group play record after those four games, they're moving on. The team with the next best record in each conference, those two are the wild cards. Always watch out for the wild cards. Now, we get to the knockout round. Eight teams, single elimination, and you know what that means. Win and move on. Or lose. And you're out. And the last four teams standing, guess what? You're headed to Vegas, baby. That's right. In Las Vegas, the semifinal battles will get us to the championship game on December 9th. Two teams in a winner-take-all final to be named champion and be awarded the first ever NBA Cup. Come on now. Look, there's a lot to look forward to this season. Players on new teams, rookies new to the league, and teams just looking to make some noise. And the NBA in-season tournament is going to be a can't-miss, must-see, high-stakes, high-level competition. And if you're a hoops head just like me, I promise you, you're going to love it. All right, so that was it, man. And again, the, the NBA marketing machine was, was on fire because <laughs> as soon as the press conference is over, the thing was plastered all over Las Vegas, man. In-season tournament, get your tickets, come back to Las Vegas. And uh, look, just, just another... I think it's just another step for the NBA to establish a franchise here in Las Vegas. Yeah. Uh, we have it here with Summer League. Now you have NBA Con. Now you have the in-season tournament that they're bringing here in, in Las Vegas on a two-day event. Ultimately, LeBron will get his team in Las Vegas, and, and that'll be part of the expansion. Now, we'll, we'll get into the, the overall, like the, the specifics of this, but overall, I think the rollout and the concept – is cool, right? You have your team split out into group play. The games are regular season games in the season in November. You play two home, two on the road. The teams with the best records out of each group will make it, as well as two wild card teams. That, that's as simple as it gets. So I think conceptually, it's cool. And the idea around this, in any sport, any GM is going to want to look to broaden the appeal of the league to fans globally. Obviously, they want to pull in more revenue. That's why you bring it into Las Vegas. You, everybody eats. Everybody gets fed. So the idea here to bring in a more casual fan because the regular season of the NBA can get tedious, right? It can get boring for, for, for the casual fan. They want to bring a little bit more excitement. I get it. But then Adam Silver says, well, it's just like the soccer leagues because NBA is global. But the problem is, is that when the soccer leagues have the Champions League, or the FA Cup. These are situations where you have, like, dream scenarios, right? The best of England versus the best of France or the best of Spain, the best of Croatia, every, you know, going head-to-head. -head. Or you'll have, like, teams in the minor leagues that may come up and might upset a Manchester City and be able to win something. So you have those matchups that you would rarely see on a regular basis. But in the NBA, are players, are fans really going to care if the Charlotte Hornets beat the Denver Nuggets in, in, in the Commissioner's Cup in Las Vegas, who cares? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's about who's, who's hoisting the Larry O'Brien trophy. It just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. 
And that's why I, 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 everything you said is correct. Because I think initially for the first ever, the beginning of it, I think this is going to be one of those things where a lot of people go into it, they're going to hate it. And like the plan, they're going to like it. And I, I'm hoping that this only means the intro to possibly bringing in some of those, you know, Barcelona's. We see, you know, the, the, uh, these uh, Spanish teams coming for preseason. Right. We see some Chinese teams coming for, for the preseason. Maybe this evolves into something like that where you're getting the best of those guys to come in for that time being to play these guys, you know what I mean? And they'll play in Vegas or whatever. Whatever it evolves into, I think that's what they're hoping for in the NBA. Uh, I, I, like you said, man, I am strictly looking at this as something that is going to spice up the regular season a little bit. I mean, unfortunately, as us Knicks fans, the season spiced up enough because we're stressed out every game. But uh, for the grand scheme of things, yeah, it could be cool, but – I, they're just looking for the intro and hoping that it can evolve into something a lot bigger, like you said, appeal to getting a team here and possibly being able to incorporate some of these European teams. So uh, I think it's going to be a lot more entertaining than a lot of people expect this first time around. And I'm hoping that, you know, maybe we make some noise so I can make a trip and come and watch the Knicks in Las Vegas. You know what I mean? So it's true. Be right back here. You know what I mean? Come on. <laughs> I mean, that'd be cool. Come come back and uh, be in the studio and hey, break God down that. Hey, hey, Mr. Hey. Vegas would not pass up that opportunity. <laughs> Absolutely not, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I will be back yes, here Vegas. in Vegas helping you guys network and meet all the people. Don't Absolutely. worry, guys. I got you. I got you. Absolutely. But, uh, look, I'm excited for it. Uh, you know, we've had this conversation in the past, CP, where I'm for it. You were just, like, hesitant. I guess you didn't were, weren't really in favor of it. I don't want to speak for you, but I like the concept. I like changing it up. You talked about how it could be tedious. It can get monotonous, man. I think... When you're in the middle of December, or January, and you're just watching the league, you're waiting to get to All Star break. I think right. it's a good way to break up what we got during the middle of the season. And honestly, I think the players are going to get more into this than we actually think they are because, look, there are egos in this sport, man. Let's 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 keep it a buck. Whoever wins the first one, let's say it is the Charlotte Hornets, right? You don't think someone's gonna be like, "Yo, I beat you in this thing." You know, someone be like, "Yo, I got, I got you." No, I mean, I beat you in the finals, man. I mean, we <laughs> won. We got, we got the chip. We got the chip, man. <laughs> and it's just gonna start from there. Like, just something so silly and small like that. I think the thing that needs to help it though is what's the compensation, what's the incentive of yep. it. I think that right. needs to come in and, and, right. and change because maybe it's like maybe you get home court advantage, right? Maybe you or like. Something like that. I don't know how you can tie that in together, but I'm just spitballing right here. I'm yeah. giving you some half-baked ideas. But something that's going to benefit you throughout the rest of the season. Maybe it's like, I don't know, maybe for the future season, right? You get a few more home games. It's like, all right, you win this championship, you get more home games. Instead of being a split 41-41, you get a little bit more home games, you get more of an advantage. Um, I don't know. Something you got to add a little bit more incentive to this yeah. thing for the team where it's like, all right, we got to compete for this because this could give us some sort of benefit. And if you can tie it into the NBA finals, I think then you could see a little bit more serious yeah. competition. But you just all those little things coming in together, man, got to figure it out. First one. Yeah. yeah. But I'm looking forward to it, man. I just yeah. want to see how it goes through. Uh, With you. Not, not, not too thrilled about the group that we got selected. But you know, yeah. this, well, well, but here's, here's the thing, though. Don't worry about that because this, this is also the best part. We always be talking about in the playoffs, right? <laughs> oh, man, bring me the Bucks. We beat the Bucks three times this yeah, year. They only yeah, beat us yeah. one time. Yeah. So now we're talking about middle of December when that win that we would get in the past now it might mean something because we're going to get that Commissioner Cup kind of thing. So I'm not yeah. really too worried about our, our, our little group. I know yeah. we got Miami. I know I mean, we're probably going to yeah, go through yeah, right yeah. now. I'm sorry. I don't need to jump ahead. But let, let's jump into the yeah, groups, Brian. About, if, if you could, um, if you could load up the graphic on the uh, group stage, let's take a look at it, yeah. man. And so they grouped them up by record in, in the previous year. There's three groups per conference. In the East, East Group A, you have the Sixers, Cavs, Hawks, Pacers, Pistons. In B, you have the Bucks, the Knicks, the Heat, the Wizards, the Charlotte Hornets. C, Celtics, Nets, Toronto Raptors, Chicago Bulls, and Orlando Magic. In the West A, it's the Grizzlies, the Suns, the Lakers, the Jazz, the Blazers. In B, you have the Nuggets, the Clippers, the Pelicans, the Mavs, and the Rockets. In C, it's the Sacramento Kings, the Warriors, the Timberwolves, OKC, and the Spurs. Man, I think some of these are loaded, man. Like, yeah. if you're going to B for the East, and you take a look at a team like the Knicks, you got to go two home, two on the road. Yeah. And you got the Bucks, You got the Heat. It's tough. Yeah. That's a, t that's a tough one, man. Yeah. Especially with the Bucks coming back at full strength. You know, they did get uh, Chris Middleton back. They have Brooke Lopez back. So they should be at full strength, especially if it's early in the season. You just never know. But uh, And then Miami, if they get Dame, that's a tough group, bro. 
Yeah, that is a tough group, but I'm not scared because as I mentioned before, we like to steal these games in the beginning of the season and hopefully now where it matters, we might be able to do something like that and, you know, make some noise like that. So we'll see, but it's going to be fun. I, I, I Like you were saying, I understand it's going to be so all over the place, but it's going to be fun to see because now there's going to be that little bit of incentive. You know, Knicks fans, we, we, it don't take much for us to throw some kind of, you know, some, yeah. we're we going to be trolling and going crazy when it comes to these games, especially don't let us win. So... I, look, I, I think for, for the league and especially for us, like our, us closed Knicks fandom, um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Any kind of reason for us to celebrate, we're going to celebrate for sure. Grant Williams passing by, showing love to the NBA report. Yeah. Salute to Grant Williams. Almost Should have got him to come through. Right. Yeah, Should have got him to come through. So you see where he's headed. Uh, what, what's your take? I'm just smiling. Well, yeah, let's go get Grant yeah, Williams' what, what, what take want, on, uh, on the in-season tournament. What you what's smiling going about? Yeah. I'm just smiling because of the optimism. And you see, Love, hey, and, and you man. know, yesterday, man, yeah. you know, you were trying to sell, you were trying to downplay yesterday. We were getting close, man. We were two points, three, four points away Alex. from making a comeback. And I'm like, CK, why, why, why are you getting so hyped, man? Why I'm are you not. So hyped? I, I, why are you getting so hyped it, during bro. summer league, bro? You gotta understand, <laughs> I am a summer league veteran. That I brought my Kevin Knox jersey because I was here for the legendary summer league performance. <laughs> okay, now I've been to these things, all right. Yeah, so I know yeah. all these things go. So uh, unlike popular belief, I was not optimistic at all. Yo, he was hype, ladies. Uh, don't no, worry, no. CK was like in his seat, just like yo, <laughs> let's go. He was like, yo, Kevin, this is the guy. <laughs> I, I like I like West Group A, man. Now the Grizzlies yeah, won't have John yeah. Moran. If they did, it, it'd be even more loaded. Yeah. But you got the Grizzlies, you got the Suns. So you know the Suns Grizzlies. big three. And they they might add Bull Bull to the mix, you know yeah. the 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 man, the myth, the legend of Bull Bull to the Suns. You got Lakers, Utah Jazz who retooled, mm -hmm. and then you know Blazers are the Blazers. But uh, West A is, is kind of I'm stacked, looking at man. that one too. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of stacked, bro. Stacked. I'm looking forward to this, man. I'm looking forward to seeing how all this is going to play out. I, I, we're, but getting back to what we were talking about for the Knicks, yeah. And to CK's point, I wouldn't be surprised. This is where I'm saying, like, for players. Saying, hey, you know, you beat the Bucks, you beat Giannis. Like, yo, <laughs> we we just beat you, man. We won this little commissioner's cup, whatever you call it. And it's like, I highly doubt. If like, if you hear it enough, can you imagine? It's like, yo, man, I beat you in whatever stupid game it is. Bro. Right? I beat you in Monopoly. Like, yeah, oh, man, you just keep ego. Just keep running. Like, ego's come gonna on, come out at some point, man. Come on, man. Say say that to Jokic, and then he's just gonna point to he's the banner okay. up there. I am the greatest. You you can have the uh, the commissioner's cup, right. the, the manscape.com bowl or whatever look, you want. Man, uh, for teams like the I Hornets, man, they need something. Listen, man, look, uh, Vegas will win, and Vegas you know, the, based on where the All Star game has been the last couple of years, I wouldn't mind coming to Vegas every Facts. year for this, right? Facts. So, so I'll be here. No, no, make no mistake. I'll you don't want to be in Cleveland. I don't want to be in Cleveland, yeah. Utah, Indiana. Yeah. I heard you but, like the pizza on Cleveland. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good on all that. I'll, I'm going to never go back to that place. No offense if you live there. But <laughs> to all the NBA fans who are in Cleveland right now yeah, tuning yeah. in, like, <laughs> what? <laughs> no offense if you live there, man. But look, I, I think for the players, the players I've absolutely benefit. I'm always up for you know the players able to make more coin. In this, it says that the team that wins the tournament will be crowned the NBA Cup. Each player on the winning team will take home five hundred thousand dollars. Players on the second place team will take home two hundred grand. Uh, players losing in the semifinals will get 100000 each, and then the quarterfinals will get 50000 So, you know, for a player like Jacob Toppin or a player like uh, Trevor Keels and so on and so forth, look, at back end of the roster, guys, you get a chance to get some more change. Why not? You, gotta, you know, that, that's good for them. That's the only thing, man. Like 500000 that's yeah. that's where that's the pot that needs to be increased because yeah. who cares at that point? Like, if you – for an Isn't NBA the player, -star pot? what's the All Star pot? Is there something similar to that too? I think I so. got it. Yeah, it I got to take a look. It can't, yeah, it's probably close. Don't to quote that. me, but I think it is. But still, this is where you're talking about it, when it gets to the NBA playoffs. We're talking yeah. about millions here. You're yeah. gonna say you're gonna cut that now? Yeah. Like if you're a first round rookie, you're making a few million dollars, right? So, sure, an extra five hundred thousand dollars to you in relation for a rookie is nice. But talking about someone like Jokic, it's like, bro, I. <laughs> what is this gonna do? Like, I yeah. guess I guess I'll go buy a new stable for my horse. <laughs> but like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, it, it's gonna be interesting, man. You know, the the when they rolled in the play in tournament, a lot of people shirked at that. But over the last two years, it's been pretty entertaining. When you look at what the Pelicans were able to do, what the Timberwolves were able to do, yeah, Pep Bev, you know, crying like he won the yeah. end season tournament uh, this year was unbelievable because. You had two teams who weren't your typical eight seeds.
kind of just come up from the grave and and make an incredible run. I mean, Miami got it together when they needed to and and made that run in through the plane and all the way to the finals, which I'm sure the league loved. And on the flip side, you had the Lakers who, you know, at one point, the Los Angeles Lakers, they went in 13th. Yeah. They were the, damn near the bottom of the West. Yeah. They were able to get it together and make a great run to the point where people were disrespecting the the, the champion Nuggets, saying yeah. that the Lakers were, were going to make it. So the play-in, I guess in certain respects, has shown to be successful in its early, uh, you know, in, in inception. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens with this with this in season tournament, man. I, I, I'm just not sure if the incentive for the players will be good enough to really get them, you know, into this thing. You know, not the you top know what I mean? Guys. Yeah, right, 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 like, right. Like the bronze, the yeah. ADs, the Jokic, the, yeah. the Giannis. Like, will they really care about this enough? That's going to be interesting. But it also, don't forget, it plays into that new rule, too, where they got to play 70% of the games for these awards. True, so true. be that as it may, it, it's, they, they can't just skip. Like mm. a lot of people were thinking was, was going to happen. They got to play. Uh, they got to play these games. You know what I mean? Because I know, you know, they, they care about those all NBAs incentives. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that, that's another thing that we got to keep an eye on as well. That's a great point, CK. And not only I think where they placed it to at the beginning of the season in November, right? That's where you're the most fresh to start mm -hmm. the season, right? Where supposedly. Players, supposedly. But yeah. when you're, you want to start, start taking those breaks, it's towards the end of the season, like what Jokic did this year. It's like, okay. We're at the 75% mark. Let me dial it down a little bit, conserve my energy, and then we get to the playoffs, and now I can you know, turn it back up to 110%. I think having it in November around that time, it's really going to change that competitiveness a little bit. I'm at not that point say, of the season. Yeah, at that point of the season. I'm not going to say everyone's going to come out here and like LeBron's going to really care about it, but right. is he going to – Maybe LeBron, but is Jokic going to miss one of those games where he wants to win those awards? Is Embiid going to miss one of those games when he wants to win those awards? Like, if you need to get up to 65 and it's part of that six, and this is part of that 65, to your point, CK, I don't think anyone's missing. I think the other thing that we got to think about, too, um, guys, is that including this type of in tournament season, right? Like, the league is trying to become global. Like, let's not forget that they have, we got the Basketball Africa League. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So mm -hmm. right. this could be a setup where, you know, as the league grows, as you're adding more teams, this is just a template just to have something in place that let's say if this does truly become a world championship. Right. Let's mm -hmm. say now you have basketball Africa League where that championship, that champion, those top whatever teams come compete against who's ever in the NBA and so forth, because it's all under one umbrella. Mm -hmm. So the next thing you know, maybe you get a European league. Right. So maybe this is just a template saying, all right. Yeah, it's going to work for the NBA because this is our top product right now. But if we can really expand this thing and really like tap into this global market and really tap into every other country or some regions throughout the world, then we have something in place to bring all these teams and meet at some sort of, sort of central location to say, all right, we're going to compete now. So I think this is also just a future thing as well, not just only for the NBA right now. So that's why I'm also looking forward to it, man, because as the league grows, it changes. Like we're, talk we're talking about two teams that may come in the future, right? Talk about Seattle, Las Vegas. Yeah. This is just only helping that cause. Starting that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No question about it, man. But what do you guys think in the chat? Let us know your thoughts on the in season tournament, man. Are you excited about it? Do you think this is going to flop? Let us know your thoughts, man. Leave it in the comment section and we will tap in with you guys, man.